Hi First LEGO League team, welcome to another episode of Space Insight. We are here at the European Space Agency, the Research and Technology Center, and I will talk uh, today, I will tell you something about concurrent engineering, which should help you in your uh, Into Orbit project. My name is Thorsten Bieler, I'm a space engineer, I'm a space systems engineer, and um, I do work in this cradle of space missions, because what we do in this concurrent design facility, we take ideas, and we put a first design to it. Now, space missions, spacecraft, they mm, consist of different elements. You know, when you think about a uh, satellite, you have uh, communications because you want to talk and, and hear what people say. You have propulsion systems because you want to go somewhere. You have uh, power system because you need to have electricity somehow to, to feed your spacecraft systems. So, all of this belongs together and they depend uh, to, uh, on each other. Now, the thing is, if you would not do it the way we do it, imagine you give it uh, the design of a space mission to a propulsion engineer. Then you would have all over the place a propulsion uh, like nozzles, you know, all of the spacecraft. Maybe a better example is a uh, communications engineer. That guy would have antennas everywhere, you know. See, it doesn't work. It does not work. Because do you see any, any power system? No. Do you see any solar panels? No. But if you gave the task to design a space mission to a power engineer, it might look like this. Space uh, solar panels all over the place, no? But no instrument, no nothing. So the truth is, in fact, that uh, if you want to build a spacecraft, you want to have an instrument, you want to have solar panels, you want to have structure and you want to have a propulsion system. So this is the propulsion system, the structure, maybe some mechanisms, you have the solar panel, and of course, important is, you have your instrument. So now, that looks more like a real spacecraft. It's not a real one, but it looks like one. Now, what we do is we bring everyone together so that we can come up with this final result. So in this place, in this concurrent design facility, we bring scientists who has the, have the idea, we have the engineers and we have the management. So everyone is participating to the design. Everyone sees what is going on and can help to come up with the best design possible. Because at the end, remember, it does not only have to fly, first you have to go to space and this you might have to bring into the, uh, into the rocket. So in this fairing on the top, this is where the spacecraft sits. So if you don't have everyone together, you will not make it, okay? So doing it like this is um, pretty efficient and it's, it's much faster also and in the end then it's also cheaper. This is why we do it. Now, what do I have to do with Lego? Well, I can tell you, when I was uh, your age, I was playing Lego quite a bit. You know, you watch uh, science fiction and then you go back to your room and you start building, you know, and moon bases and, and, and rockets and stuff. So really cool stuff. And uh, I would have certainly liked to have something like this a space inside myself. So I hope I could tell you something that was useful for your, for your project. And uh, I wish you all the best of luck and maybe see each other in the future.